In this video, I will show you the best ways to farm tickets in Bee Swarm Simulator. Let's get right into it. You always need tickets in Bee Swarm, whether it is to buy new event bees, buy star treats, or even just to buy bee quips at Dapper's shop, which is why I have made this guide today. Keep watching to the end to learn the best ways to farm tickets. To streamline this video, I've pre-ranked common methods in Bee Swarm Simulator that most players are already familiar with. These methods include the Wealth Clock, the Ticket Shop, defeating bugs around the map also known as bug running, battling bosses such as King Beetle, Tunnel Bear, Stump Snail, and Coconut Crab, claiming badges, planting sprouts, completing quests, claiming promo codes. And for those who haven't utilized ticket generating codes, they'll be displayed on the screen for your convenience. You can thank me in the comments. Anyway, let's dive in and explore these various methods to rake in those valuable tickets in Bee Swarm Simulator. First up is the Commando Chick. Dispatching these Feathery Foes grants you one ticket per kill, with a generous reward of 100 tickets on your 25th takedown. While they start off easy, they become increasingly challenging over time, earning them a spot in the C tier. Next on the list is the Mythic Meteor Showers. Easily summonable nowadays, three rounds of these cosmic events yielded me 22 tickets, which makes for roughly seven tickets each. Though convenient and consistent, their slow output places them also in the C tier. Keep in mind, Meteor Shower Loot is affected by loot degradation. Now, onto memory matches. Scattered across the map, these brain teasers offer between one and five tickets per play, depending on which zone it is in and their cooldowns. Regularly tackling these matches upon cooldown proves quite effective earning them a respectable B-tier ranking. A more recent addition to ticket farming is the discovery of hidden stickers. Scattered throughout the map, each one nets you one ticket. While not the most efficient method, their sporadic nature earns them a place in the D-tier. Puff Shrooms take the spotlight as our fifth method. With dedicated teamwork, I gathered a whopping 40 tickets in just 30 minutes. Despite loot degradation, consistent efforts on a daily basis promises profusion of tickets, solidifying their place in the prestigious S tier. As for our sixth and seventh methods, luck plays a pivotal role. The Cub Buddy occasionally offers tickets, making it a long-term investment. Meanwhile, collecting sparkles in sunflower, pumpkin, and pineapple fields may yield a few tickets, but their infrequency lands them both in the C tier. Introducing the eighth method, Windy B. With just one Windy B, I managed to snag 20 tickets. Despite loot degradation, maximizing its potential with two or three rounds is absurdly good. Taking only five minutes each and having an extreme reliability, Windy B earns its place in the prestigious S tier. Truly remarkable. Method 9. Planters. These trusty green allies reliably drop tickets upon harvest, with the ticket planter of course leading the pack. Offering a convenient AFK or macro farming option, they earn a solid A-tier ranking for their consistent rewards. Introducing the 10th and last method, Honey Storms. Summonable every 4 hours, these storms yield around 5 to 10 tickets each. While they offer a straightforward and reliable ticket collection method, their consistency places them alongside meteor showers in the C tier. There you have it, a breakdown of ticket generating methods in Bee Swarm Simulator. Happy farming!